Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online color consultant and e-design specialist. Today we're not talking about a specific paint color, we're going to talk about lightening and darkening paint colors. Nothing drives me crazier than when I specify that a color should be lightened or darkened by 25%, maybe 50%, and the paint store says, oh no, we won't do that, you won't see the difference. Oh, you, oh, you'll totally see the difference. I mean, I can't account for the fact if, if you don't really see colors and you just kind of, it all looks gray to you, but really, if you're looking to see a shift, you're gonna see a shift, and that's why I suggest it. So, if you're baking cookies and you take 25% of the recipe out, you're not gonna get as many cookies, right? Or if you add a little bit more sugar into the recipe, you're gonna get sweeter cookies. It's just like with paint. Every paint color has a recipe of sorts. Every color is made up of, say, three to four colors. Some have more, but general colors are made up of three to four colors mixed together. So if you adjust the amount of those colors, you're gonna get it darker or you're gonna get it lighter. You're gonna see it, I swear. So we're gonna look at this with Revere Pewter today. Now I do have a paint color review on Revere Pewter if you wanna learn more about it. So I'm not here to talk about the color today. I'm, talking, I'm here to show you how this color can shift. Now Revere Pewter is a great, average, happy color to look at. Some colors are going to respond a bit more to lightening and darkening depending on how black, much black they have in them. So this isn't a set formula. This is just a general thing to get you going and noticing that you can really adjust colors to get just the look you want. Now when you adjust a color, you lighten it or darken it, you are going to change the color. The undertones can shift. You might notice that say Revere Pewter has a green undertone. As you darken it, the green might come up a bit more. As you lighten it, the green might fall back. So you're not going to get the same color, but you're going to get a, a version of the same color and you're going to adjust it to maybe get to a place that you really want to get to. And that's okay. It's okay to play around with colors and find what you love. So say we add 25% to the recipe. 25 is subtle. 25 is a tweak. It's more about me being anal than about saying like, oh, hallelujah, I've got the perfect color. It's just a tweak, but that doesn't mean you won't notice it and it isn't just the tweak you need. So here's 25% darker. Now, I don't know how that, I'm looking at the screen. Oh, you can totally see it. So regular Revere Pewter, 25% darker. See that shift? And sometimes that's just what you need to get the right contrast with your trim or with your backsplash or your countertops. Now, let's hang that guy up there. Oh no, I can't, we're gonna lean him. There you go, we're gonna put him right there. Let's look at Revere Pewter minus 50%. I don't have the minus 25%. The Revere Pewter minus 50%. Look at that. So if you're like, oh, Revere Pewter is a little bit too dense. I want something lighter. There you go. And you might notice too, if you see how that green falls back just a bit, that's the undertones changing, right? So that is 50% darker. Now, really a lot of people say, well, if I have to change a color by 50%, shouldn't I pick a new color? Well, absolutely look, but sometimes the color you want, you have it, you just need to adjust it. I can't necessarily find this color in another color. I needed to play with Revere Pewter to get it. In my own house, I have Revere Pewter 50% darker on my doors and on my kitchen cabinets, and it is beyond perfection. I didn't find that the regular Revere Pewter was doing it, and I couldn't find a color that hit just the right amount of green undertone that I wanted, so I played. So there we go. Well, let's look at here first. 50% darker, I just, I love it. So, hopefully that shows you between 25% darker, 50% darker, 50% lighter. That is okay to play with color. Have some fun. Don't let the paint store tell you that you're not gonna notice it. Find out for yourself. See if that's the adjustment you need. If you wanna learn more paint tips and about more paint colors, please subscribe to my video feed or you can check me out on my blog at www.kyliaminteriors.ca. Thanks for listening.